guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would create a video on how I stay motivated to work out every day, almost every day. I mean, you need a rest day here and there, but you know what I mean. So this is a topic that I feel like a lot of people can relate to because let's face it, not every day you could be motivated for the gym. So I thought this video would be a great opportunity to just be able to share with you guys how I stay motivated and hopefully be able to help someone else out there, okay? Give you some ideas. You know, you know how it is. All right, guys, I'm not going in this blindly. I made a list, I did, all right. A, a very conscious list of things that I do throughout the day that help me stay motivated. So here we go. Number one, this is actually the biggest one. I'm gonna start with the biggest one, okay? They're not really in any order except for this one. The number one thing that keeps me motivated beyond anything else is by simply understanding that it's all in the way that you think. Perception is everything. If you view exercise as a chore or in any type of slight negative light, it will be a negative experience for you. Know that. So for me, I view exercising, working out at the gym as a privilege, okay? Not everyone can do it. There's people out there that really wish they could and unfortunately they can't. So I'm not trying to get all depressing on you or anything like that. Always keep that in mind. Your health is your wealth, own it. You know, this is your body, your one and only body you got. This isn't just about aesthetic goals, that's a whole different topic. This is just about your overall health and wellness and just trying to maintain that by exercising. That is how you do it, baby. Eating right and exercising. There's no cutting corners, there's no way around it, there's no diet hack, crazy hacks or pills that you're gonna take that are actually good for you. You just gotta put in the work. And I think once you change your perception into a positive light and view exercise as nothing but that, your whole world will change. Just giving yourself the utmost respect in that aspect. For example, would you go the day without brushing your teeth? I mean, maybe some of you, <laughs> but I, I wouldn't. <laughs> so that is how I view exercise. It's something that's ingrained into my life and my day, and I just don't go without it. Unless it is a rest day, unless I'm super sore, drained, tired, really sick, whatever, but look at it as a good thing. You're gonna feel good afterwards, okay? Your body's gonna thank you. Which leads me to number two, tip number two. Always think about how you're gonna feel afterwards, all right? Earn your rest, is what I say. Earn it. If you're just kind of moping around all day, or even say you work all day, you're just simply tired. Like, so, let's face it, a lot of the reasons why people don't work out is they simply don't have the time. It's hard, man, especially if you work a nine to five. I know way too many people that just don't have the time. You wake up in the morning, you gotta prep your like meals for the day, bring everything with you, you, you gotta go to work, then you gotta drive home in the traffic. I understand, and I, I totally get it. Even. 20 minutes a day, like anywhere you can fit it. Like even if you have a treadmill at home, hop on it, 20 minutes a day, whatever. Any little bit is better than nothing. You just gotta make do with what you got. So that is tip number two. That is what helps me stay motivated. Always think about the after effect of how you're gonna feel. Endorphins will be released, believe it. Sweat it out, you're gonna feel better than ever, and then you're gonna really enjoy the rest of your day with whatever you're doing. You earned that right to just kinda chill, okay? Veg, watch Harry Potter. <laughs> your girl binge watched Harry Potter recently. Let's not even go there. Another way I stay motivated, guys, is by starting the day healthy, okay? There's no better way to demotivate yourself than to start your day off eating garbage. <laughs> like just straight up not taking care of your body when you first wake up. Drink that water, eat that healthy breakfast, make that oatmeal, things that are just gonna start your day off right. That's what I do every single day. Then you're just more inclined to keep that momentum of being healthy all day. Uh, when you start your day on a healthy note, you're more likely to wanna keep that going, okay? You're gonna wanna keep that feeling, so you're more likely to work out. All right, next, I always have goals whenever I'm working out. I don't just simply go and just in blindly. If you do that, there's no drive behind it. You will just walk around, take your time, slouch around on the machines, and you really need to go in with a, with a focus. Whatever your goals are or whatever your ultimate goal is, keep that in mind, but break it down into smaller achievable goals and 
get there. You know what I'm saying? Each day get better and better and better. Right now, my goal, things that keep me motivated right now is to start lifting heavier, okay? Lower body in particular. It's a really good feeling when you start to see the progress. So tracking progress is another way that I keep motivated. Because when I see the progress, and this is why it's important to take progress pics, y'all. Do it. Don't, don't not do it. Do it. Seeing how far you've come is going to help you just stay motivated to kind of keep going. You see it happening. You see, there's nothing more demotivating than feeling like you're not getting somewhere, okay? You're like trying to achieve things and it's just not happening. Then you end up dropping off. You end up just not even thinking about the gym. A way to avoid that is to always track your progress. Not even just wait. Forget about the scale. Like, just don't even think about the freaking scale. Because as you lift weights, you're building muscle, which is gaining more weight in a sense even though you might be losing more body fat it'll even itself out and you might think you're not losing any weight it can be very discouraging so instead track progress on how well you're performing at the gym perhaps or even better yet how your clothes are fitting if that's something you're trying to work on is like weight loss for example focus on that and really record everything like write everything down okay so another way that i stay super motivated is by listening to informational podcasts like Joe Rogan is awesome. He talks a lot about health and exercise and just hearing what he says, it really just kind of gets my body moving and even just watching other people work out. Do you notice that you may feel unmotivated until you get to the gym and watch other people working out? Then you get that momentum. If you find yourself in the house, in your bed, <laughs> in your comfy cozy bed and not wanting to leave, what I like to do is put it on YouTube and watch people work out. Within a half hour, I'm out the door and I'm at that gym. This is how the brain works, okay? You see somebody doing something, you might wanna do it, depending on what it is. <laughs> but exercising is definitely um, addictive in that sense, where this is why I follow nothing but fitness pages because it gets me motivated. So if you find Instagram to be helpful, for example, like that, then use Instagram to your advantage. Use social media. To your advantage like that get it to motivate you okay guys so the last tip that i'm going to share with you today a big helpful way to stay motivated for me is to just picture the end result and when i say end i mean fitness should never really end you should always be working on yourself you should never end that but what i mean is when you have a vision of yourself at how you want to be whatever that goal might be it's like the law of attraction when you envision it it's more likely to actually happen that's sometimes all the motivation i need so that's what i like to do sometimes is just to picture where i want to be and it gets very exciting for me because it's like a challenge and it's good to be challenged never forget why you started everybody's path is different everyone's journey is completely different so never forget why you started Always keep that in the back of your mind because as you're going through something, anything in life, you're going to get discouraged and you're going to want to give up. Anything that provides any kind of discomfort, it's natural for people to want to kind of back away, avoid it at all costs. But when it comes to your health, just remember your why, why you're doing it, why you even started. Let that be what you live by, okay? And don't let anybody take that away from you, no. So yeah guys, those were all of my tips. I'm just gonna end this by saying, always make yourself a priority in life. If you function well and healthy, everything else in your life will be healthy. So you just have to kind of make yourself a priority. And I know that's easier said than done, believe me. A lot of people have different priorities going on. But I think that if you prioritize your time, like I said before, even to just get something done every single day. It's better than getting nothing done every single day. And you will feel better about yourself when you get something done rather than nothing. These are just ways that really have helped me significantly stay motivated. Um, I've always really been into the gym and taking care of myself, but I will say using these tips and reminding myself of what I need to be reminded of has just really helped significantly to reach different new realms of this field so i really hope that this video could help you in some way please comment down below if you liked it and let's chit chat 
Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I know I got a little intense there for a hot second, but you know, I take this kind of thing really seriously and I really just want to see other people succeed and enjoy their fitness journey, not dread it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Um.